So we have with us Mr. Abhishek Agarwal. Welcome. Uh, can you please brief us about yourself and about your company? Yeah, so I'm Abhishek Agarwal. I am the co-founder of Farmly. Uh, we are building India's most loved healthy snacking brand. Uh, we are a seven-year-old organization. We started back in 2017, and now we are one of the biggest, one of the fastest growing brand in this category. Okay, so first of all, congratulations for the award. Thanks can you please tell me uh, what this award means to you and what I'm feeling right now? It, it uh, what means a lot to us. Uh, it's been one of the most rewarding journeys in the last seven years, and feels good to have a recognition from the agency like uh, Business World. Okay, so uh, currently we are seeing a lot of uh, turbulence in the ecosystem, like the geopolitical crisis. So, do you think any uh, hurdles that the star India's uh, startup ecosystem face currently? Like, so currently, yeah, so uh, it's uh, rightly that you know the funding have dried up a bit. Uh, but yeah, no, good businesses are still getting uh, good funds. There is no dearth of funds as such. But yeah, the profitability has to be in the minds of founders, and it has to be time framed like you know what next year's means to any startup. And EBITDA profitability has to be the one which one should have a goal in his mind. Okay, so currently a lot of economists say that India is a great uh, position as far as uh, economic growth is concerned. So do you think we can see the IPO boom which we witnessed in 2021 will return uh, in next year? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So the kind of consumption story that India is uh, seeing from the last three, four years, uh, especially after the COVID, uh, definitely there is going to be a good time period where you know there will be a good IPO stories coming out, especially from the D two C segment as we speak. Okay, so can you please tell us about uh, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur and the entire story behind it? As I always have been fond of solving ground level problems and wanted to build something from that. Uh, so during my IT days. Uh, you know, while studying a lot of agri sector, what kind of supply chain problems it has, and what it wanted them to solve for both the ends, like the customer end as well as the farmer ends. So that's how which prompted me to start. And you know, as India, you know, we are we are a growing e economy, and this was the right time, you know, which you feels to start. Okay. So what are the what are the early trends that you foresee in next year as far as the startup ecosystem is concerned? So I'll speak uh, majorly in the D two C segment uh, from our uh, industry, which is healthy snacking industry. So snacking in general India has been a great market and it's been growing tremendously. But as we speak today, almost all the big brands which are selling healthy snacks, almost ten percent of it is just comes from the healthy part of it. So there's a good trend, especially after COVID, there's a good demand of people wanting to consume healthy alternative almost of for everything. So the snacks uh, seems to be at the core of it. And the market will definitely by 2030, we'll see 40% of the snacking segment shifting completely to the healthy part. Uh, we'll see that uh, happening uh, tremendously in tier one, and it's tremendously going down to tier two and tier three as well. Okay, so talking about the industry collaboration with the government, so what are the areas where you see that government can step in help the entire sector? Definitely, there's been good, uh, you know, intervention government has done, especially in the food processing segment. They have done good SEZs in you know remote remote part of the countries, and I think more. Power in that direction will help us tremendously. Secondly, in the exports, uh, if governments can have government can have good collaboration with startups on good products which have been suiting India, if that they, that if that can be a good collaboration on helping startups in exports from two different countries, I think that will be a good step. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.